done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. <sighs> Let's see what's on TV. I'm the prosecutor, and I want to make Ethiopia Muslim. I'm the defendant, and we have a treaty. We can stay Christian. My name is Judge Joe Mark, and I'm always here to defend the people. All right! Judge, I don't know. You may take a seat. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you Allah? I do. Ethiopia and make everybody Muslim, but she won't let me. Okay, here's the story. So Muhammad was out conquering the Middle East, and some assassins came to kill him. So he fled to Aksum Port in Ethiopia with his family, and he made a treaty with King Zana that he could leave his family there, and that Ethiopia could remain Christian. I have the treaty here. That treaty was made thousands of years ago. Who cares? Would you like to see it, Your Honor? Um, yes, please bring up the uh, evidence. Um, I'd appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, here's the treaty, okay. Uh, uh, Miss Five, there's a date right here. I mean, sure, it was made thousands of years ago, but it says right here that it would be fine if... I don't think... That was really offensive. Order! Order! After looking at all the evidence that I had in such a small amount of time and the argument Miss Suzanne made, I have come to a conclusion and final ruling that Ethiopia will stay Christian and not Muslim. I am here to defend the people. What do you think of Judge Joe Mark's ruling? <laughs> I think that was really fair because there was a treaty and Muhammad would have wanted it honored. So, you know. Interesting. What do you think of the judge's ruling? I think that was very unfair. That treaty was made so long ago. Nobody even cares anymore. I'm just so upset. Ugh! Wow. Um, that was a real stupid show. Judge Joe Mark, who, who listens to that guy? Oh, Khadijah, my beautiful wife. So beautiful. So perfect. And yet, I have so many riches for me and my wife. Just, just, just amazing. <laughs> take this Allah to be your Allah? I do. Do you take this Allah to be your Allah? I do. Then you may kiss your lovely wedded wife in the name of Allah. Are you serious? A soap opera? 
on Muslims. Maybe there's a sign here. Nah. Next channel. And gentlemen, Black Regis! Yeah! Do you want to be a millionaire? Hello, my name is Black Regis. And um, I'm here today to talk to you about the rules of the game. Um, number one, I'm going to explain these uh, questions I have here. And today is Muslim edition. And these lovely ladies over here are trying to win a million dollars. Now, if they get any of these questions wrong, they go home with a money amount, whether it be zero or 750000 Now, let's enjoy the game. Question number one. Black Regis, I love you! Ladies, ladies, let's calm down. So, question number one. Which country or region had the most rights for women? A. Canada B. New Zealand C. Middle East or D. Europe mm -hmm. I think it's A, but um, I'm pretty sure it's C. What is your final answer? My final answer is C. C. D is correct! Yes! yes! <laughs> they win a grand total of 420 cents. Next question, question number dos, for a grand total of $572. Question number two, what's the main religion in the ancient Middle East? A, Christianity, B, Islam, C, Scientology, or D, atheist, Atheism? Um, I think it's the, I mean, Tom Cruise believes in that, so. In Scientology? No way. Yeah. I think the answer is B. Pretty sure it's C. And my final answer is B. You're as in boy. As in boy. B is correct! <laughs> They're up to $572. Question number three. What were the two types of Muslims? A. Abbasids and Umayyads. B. Marians and Guptas. C. Shia and Sunnis. Or D. Zhao and Han. Totally D. Totally. Mm. I'm gonna go with C. C. Mm. C. Yes. So that's my final answer. C. At is as in cat scan or cat. C is correct! Yes, with a grand total of $5,277. Wow. Your next question, question number four. This one gets you the big bucks. $10,869.22. Question number four. Which type of Muslim saw the Quran as guidelines? A, Sunni. B, Shia. C, Abbasid or D, you might. I'm gonna go with A on that one. Yeah, I, th I think I agree. You, you agree with A? Uh, yeah. A. Yeah. A is correct! <laughs> yes! With a grand total of $10,869.22. Question number cinco. Also five. What is a caliph? A, leader of Muslim church. B, a pope. C, a man whose wife dies, or D, a baby cat? Totally D. Oh, I'm totally no, D. it's totally A. A. Miss, I, uh, I'd like to tell you that you just won $69,690.69. Yeah! Question number six. Can Muslims tax each other? A, yes. B, C, maybe. Or D, sometimes. I mean, maybe. I mean, um, I'm pretty sure it's B. B? I guess B. B. Boy, brother, that B. Yeah, that B. Not the other B, that B. <laughs> I'd like to reward you with $112 and...
you, you know what? You just won a lot of money. Good job. Good job. Question number seven. What war the wars between Sunnis and Shiites called? A. Riddle Wars. B. World War II. C. Turf Wars. Or D. French and Indian Wars. I'm so confident in my answer with B. Um, no. Um, I'm gonna go with A. When you mean A, you mean the Riddle Wars. Yes. Yes. Correct! Yes! Good job! Alright. This next one. This next one's worth a lot of money, ladies. It's worth $573,670.99. Question number eight. Who later became the Abbasids? A. The Shia and Mamluks? B. Mr. Humphrey? C. Queen of England, or D, Pablo? It's gotta be D, or B, Mr. Humphrey, or Pablo. Um, how about, how about A? D, Pablo, really? Pablo? <laughs> Pablo, gosh. I'm gonna stick with A. Well. You just won! Yeah! Good job! <laughs> Question number nine. We're getting close, ladies. What country were the Mamluks given? This one is for $999,999.99. One cent from the grand prize. But it's not the grand prize yet. So I will repeat the question so you can all hear. What country were the Mamluks given? A. Egypt. B. Australia. C. Saudi Arabia, or D, Speedway? Oh, it'll be Speedway. I'm pretty sure that's not even a country. Um, I'm gonna go with A again. Oh, I totally think it's Speedway. Uh, no. A, Apple. Yeah, that, that A, not the other one, that A. Okay, Yeah. the it's one right. that says Egypt. Yes, yeah, that A. Congratulations! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, have, I don't see this every day, but we are down to the last question. Question number 10. Read it and weep. This one is worth, for the biggest bucks in the room, one million dollars. You hear me? One million dollars! Hear the fans! They're all going crazy. But this one, this is definitely a doozy. I don't even think I could get this one, but um, we'll see how they do. Are you ready for your final question? We're ready. We're ready. What were the five pillars? A, no God but Allah. B, pray five times facing Mecca. C, fast during Ramadan. D, zakat. Or D, haha. Or some like to pronounce it, hurrah. Or F, all of the above. It's F. F. It's F. It's F. F. It's F. It's F. Final answer, F. F. But you won! Yeah! Yeah! And now, I'd like to present them their prize. A one million dollar hat. And you know, i just like to get conclude this by saying thank you for tuning in to all new viewers or current viewers who always watch my show. It really means a lot and um, thank you and good night. Ladies, what do you think of winning one million dollars? So, well, oh, oh, God. Um, so like I think that I totally answered all the questions and I totally like studied so hard for it and I mean like I totally think it's like because of like I voted for Muhammad 2012 so totally it. Um, uh... Man, I was somewhat interesting. I mean game show, Muslim edition, maybe this will help me out with my project. Oh well, let's just go to MTV.
fucking mic? Whoa, man. Josh, bro, what's up, man? What you trying to say, man? You want to fight? Yeah, this is my turf. Dog, this ain't your turf. All right, Let's man. Let's like men. Let's have a rap battle. Rap battle? Yeah. Dog, money's everywhere. My name's Moneymaker Mark. So, uh, if you want to do this, let's do it. I've got a script for punks like you. <clears throat> ha. It comes to a time for crusade number three. For all you Mohammeds to finally see. Neraldine is a bad guy, but he's quite sly. He took some credit for the conquest from another guy. Saladin got mad because he was the general. Saladin was the man, so disrespectful. Saladin watched Saladin's castle. It turns out he already died. What a hassle. The son takes over, tries to kill Saladin three times. Man, he didn't even get paid, not even a shot. Alright, dog, I see you. Yeah, I got one too, right now. Next day his son ends up dead, he ate a poison apple, his mother fled. She was the only one in the castle, Saladin and her get married, what a rascal. King Richard had the largest army at the time, Saladin was counting on that to decline. Richard tricked Saladin to go in, into Damascus, for Saladin that was disastrous. The biggest battle was at Acre, Saladin was impressed with Richard's vigor. Long story short, they ended in peace, from now all the fighting has been. Alright man. <laughs> All right, man. Respect, respect. I mean, I, I understand this is your turf, but I gotta get through, man. All right, let's stay. Hey, let's learn, man. Peace in the Middle East. Well, that was really informative. Oh, well, I guess enough procrastination. Time to go work on my project. Let's see. Report on Muslims. Well, I got a hundred on my paper. Now it's time to have some cuties with my cuties. Josh! Take them, man. Alright. Alright, man. <laughs>